everyone, this is Jen Sheffer, Mobile Learning Coach for Burlington Public Schools, and today I'd like to show you a couple new updates in Google Classroom. So I'm going to use my Help Desk class to show you two new exciting features that have been added. The first one you will find in the About section of your Google Classroom. So if I click on that, you'll see over here on the left-hand side that finally Google has listened to the many requests of teachers to have the ability to have a co-teacher and now you can do that and it's really simple just like every other piece of Google Classroom it's very intuitive all you simply do is click on invite teacher and now I can search for a colleague and that's going to be Colleen Jenkins she's going to co-teach with me so I can go ahead and click on Colleen and then I can click next if I wanted to add more teachers I could but it's just going to be me and Colleen so I'm going to click next and then I'm notified that the teacher that I add can do everything that I can do except for delete the class which is great so I'm going to go ahead and click on invite and then Colleen will receive an email letting her know that I have invited her to co-teach with me. So you can see down here on the left, she's been added. And if I need to delete her for any reason, I can just click on these triple eyes and then remove her from the class. And then I'm given the notification that the teacher won't be able to open this class unless I re-invite her. So I go ahead and click on remove. The next update I want to show you is a part of the stream. So there's a new feature in the stream, which I think is really convenient for a busy teacher. Now what we can do as teachers when we're drafting announcements is that we can save announcements and go back to them later. So this is a reminder that now let's just suppose all of a sudden the fire alarm goes off and I have to immediately leave my classroom. You'll notice right here it says draft saved. I have a delete button right here if I want to delete or discard that draft. But what I could do is if I wanted to come back to that announcement at a later time, I can click on that drop down menu and I can click save draft. It's going to save it and then you can see I have this draft right here. I can reopen that and click on, this is a reminder that you have an exam on Friday. Uh, please please check the shared calendar, which hopefully Google Classroom and Google Calendar will be integrated because that's another feature we've been asking for. Um, so if that was the uh, announcement in its entirety, I could just click on post and students will see the post in their streams immediately. Great. And I can click on post. And again, just as a quick reminder, if I wanted to, to delete that, I can click on those triple eyes and then delete that announcement. One last thing I want to show you, this has been out for a little bit now, but I'm not sure if everybody knows about this. This is in the classroom main menu. So if I click on that and I click on assignments right here, this gives me a bird's eye view basically of every single assignment for every single class. Now, most of you don't have probably as many classes or assignments as I do because I've been experimenting with a lot of teachers. However, um, the nice part about this is that if I click on this drop-down menu, I can isolate just my digital literacy semester two class. And again, I can see that bird's eye view of how many uh, students have submitted their work and how many students still owe me work. So this is a really nice organizational feature for teachers. It allows you to uh, access the assignments and give student feedback much quicker and that's something that we're always looking for is tools that will allow us to be more efficient and allow us to connect with our students. Um, so hopefully that has been helpful. If you're not using Classroom yet, I would encourage you to come to the May 12th How Do I Do That session. I'll be leading that and going over the aspects of Google Classroom that I really think will change the way you, you distribute and collect work from students uh, using both Classroom and Google Drive. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.